Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be focusing on color studies. In the previous video, we were we did color theory, just understanding the breakdown of color. In this video, we're going to kind of put all that we've learned in addition to new techniques that we're going to be learning in this video to kind of create your own color study. In this color study, I want to introduce to you a couple of more new uh, techniques. You are familiar with primary colors and secondary colors. Uh, the new ones will be complementary colors, co cool colors, warm colors, and achromatic colors. Complementary colors um, are two colors which are directly opposite of each other. Cool colors are typically blue, green, and light purples. They are soothing colors and they represent like usually the sky, water, ice, or snow. Warm colors are the opposite. They're oranges, reds, yellows, um, and they kind of give you the feeling of the sun or heat. And lastly, achromatic colors are have are void of color, and they're just this the scheme of black, white, and gray. These are the materials you're going to need um, for the color study. You need some color pencils, markers, if you have one or the other. Um, you can use, you'll need a pencil um, and maybe a ruler, an eraser. Um, now, if you don't have color markers, crayons, anything that you can kind of color with, you can also use Google Sketch, which is why I wanted to, I introduced it in the last video. Um, and you can kind of create your own graphic, your iconic, your icon graphic and color it in in Google Sketch for those who don't have those materials at home. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using a digital drawing application uh, called Illustrator. Um, you can use uh, any digital drawing application like Google Sketch um, if you would like. And also you can do this by hand. You'll just create everything using a pencil um, and then using marker or any coloring um, utensil that you have to fill in the colors. I have a, the color wheel here to kind of give me guidance on how I'm going to be using the different techniques what colors I'm going to choose and um, use um, but you'll start off by creating a your graphic I am just using simple shapes um, to kind of create um, something that I think is appealing you can limit the amount of shapes to about four I think that that's a, a really good number four or five um, so that <clears throat> since a lot of the color combinations are paired um, it makes it easier for pairing colors together in your design you're done labeling um, all of your templates if you want to call them that um, from the original design you know you'll copy it um, one two three four five six six times um, so that you can start kind of creating each uh, different technique 
we're going to start off with the um, primary colors now you guys are familiar with the primary colors and the secondary colors because you we obviously um, got a quick lesson in the previous video um, what is new to you is complementary colors uh, cool and warm and achromatic colors um, the color wheel is there because it helps me as a guide to kind of understand what are my complementary colors which are opposite colors of each other um, you'll see that um, in when we get to the complementary colors um, I'm picking like for example purple and yellow um, and then like this version of a blue with a version of an orange um, and then for the cool colors it's, again all the colors that are more on the blues and purple side and I'm lightening them up because it, you know cool is a more it's a little bit lighter in terms of the concentration of that color um, and then for the warm colors I'm sticking with obviously my red orange um, and kind of like that purpley orange color um, and then because I have a little bit of design background um, I'm just playing around with how I want it to look graphically obviously you if you don't have that experience that's fine right now we're just really focusing on uh, just using basic shapes and then if you're doing this by hand feel free to kind of have fun with how you want to play with your shapes um, use your start off with a pencil obviously when you're creating your original design so that you can kind of erase things um, and then once you have that final design that you like then you can um, use that as your your example Um, creating this color study with me uh, this is just really kind of uh, a foundational piece understanding color so that when you create other art pieces or you design anything uh, digitally that you now know what are the best colors to pair together so that you can have a really nice um, design or art piece all right, um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this activity. Um, again, remember to uh, take a picture of your final design and hashtag it, um, a, uh, hashtag AF Visual Arts or email it to me. Information is uh, in the description box below. All right, bye everyone.